it's a good place to be on a nice hot summer day, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Humid that is, so it's, it's really Air good. conditioning. So, yeah, so again, Amelia, thank you so much for coming. It's really good to see everybody. So, um, this is my piece. This is the installation called Lost and Found. And um, it was done uh, during 2020 in the midst of the pandemic. And uh, uh, it changed and grew over the year um, and ended up in a place that was kind of unexpected to me. So it's, it's had quite a journey, and I've had quite a journey in making it and uh, then seeing it mounted in the space. So um, what I'd like to do is just to give you a little bit of an understanding of what I was thinking about when I made it, um, where the ideas came from, and um, what, I, what I hope people take away from it. Um, and then I'm happy to have you uh, ask me questions, because you may you know, have uh, thoughts that you want to share or uh, questions about, you know, specific things about the making of this, and I'm happy um, uh, to try to answer. And um, we're, we are doing a little bit of video today, so uh, I hope you know that. Don't, you know, if anyone has objections to being videoed, if you have to ask a question, um, I can easily uh, edit out that out, so. But anyway, hi, so. <laughs> Um, so lost and found. Um, this work is actually, to me, um, an outgrowth of many, many years of painting mm. on canvas. So I consider these paintings um, that happen to be on sculpture. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it was, for me, a very natural outgrowth of you know, years of painting um, on flat, flatter surfaces. Uh, but interestingly enough, I've also always enjoyed um, sculptural work and, and have played with sculptural kinds of things in my painting over the years um, on paper. So this is not such a, it's not as big a leap for me as uh, you might think it was, sort of gain momentum. But uh, after many years of painting, I really decided that I, I, I very much, well, I very much enjoy going to sculptures showings and also installations, which is kind of a new way of uh, you know seeing work in which you know you the viewer steps right in you know and, and feels almost like they become a part of this work. And my intention here is for people to you know look at both the fronts and backs and see the shapes and see the other pieces in the installation and how they relate to each other. So you'll see patterns mixing with patterns and Shadows cast, and you know, with the sound aspect of, of this piece, which I should turn very soft because it's kind of annoying to listen to while I'm talking. Um, all of it works together to, I'm hoping, create an environment. Like you feel that you are with this piece, that the piece is all four of these works together, creating this environment, you know, that's sort of separate from the rest of the world. So I really wanted to do that in my work. And um, uh, the first thing that I did was I did work on paper and cut shapes out of really big scale paper, start painting them, and felt as though, oh, if you take the shape and move it off of the, the wall and manage to figure out how you can hang it you know, from a point, you have like, a three-dimensional painting. That was very exciting because I realized that you could have a reversible painting. You could, you know, enjoy the front and the back, but also things around it. Um, but even while I was making the very first of these uh, works on paper, I, I knew that I wanted to have, have movement as part of it. So way back when I first started this work, three years ago or so, um, I, I wasn't ready to even contemplate how they might even hang or how they might move. But I could think about having dancers, you know, play play with them and um, respond to the shapes. So one of the very first things that I did was I, I hired some dancers. Uh, there's a wonderful group in town called Luminarium Dance Company, and their specialty is to um, put dancers in 
non uh, non stage settings, like you know, in shopping malls or in stores or on grounds and lawns and things like that, to really interact with people aside from singing and stage. And so um, I called them, and then I had some dancers, and I, I, some of you were at the uh, that initial uh, viewing of this piece where. Uh, the dancers would, you know, be in here, you know, responding to the work, and that was very, very thrilling. But the work itself still didn't move. So uh, this, this was something that I had in mind to do. And uh, the pieces um, have evolved really from lots of observation of nature, natural forms, and it's something that has been in my work for a long, long time. You know, loving looking at seashells and uh, sea pods and, you know, sort of detritus from the natural world. Um, you know, bones and leaves and things like that. And I've drawn them and drawn them and used them in other kinds of work. Um, and I find that I, I now have this vocabulary of shapes that I use a lot. And that is where these shapes came from. If you're wondering, well, what do they refer to? You know, very, very loosely, leaves and bones and um, you know, ladder shapes, and I also realized that I'm very affected by driving on out. You know, as you drive, you, you know, if you're moving fast, you see a lot of stuff on the roads, you know, roads with, with you know, crossbars in them all the time. And, I mean, it's just like part of our environment, so I realized that some of that is coming into my work. But, but you know, the work and the colors and the shapes and the forms are all, they're, um, uh, you know, loosely referring to things that I see in the world. Um, so then I, I, I uh, was able to um, do this, this exhibition here. Um, and I knew about it about two years ago. So I started to think about what this would be like. And um, over those two years, as I said, it, it changed. I started using this really heavy, much more heavy material. This is PVC plastic. It's actually well, it's heavier compared to paper, but it's not terribly heavy. And I can cut it either myself or I have um, uh, people cut them for me. But I make all of them in my studio. I adhere the shapes to each other and then I string these things up mm -hmm. in my studio. So it's very physical work, um, but, but these pieces are going to last longer. And they also hold up to humidity a lot better than paper. So although, um, you know, I don't really mind the ephemeral quality of paper or even like plastic, but this becomes a little bit sturdier and a little bit more feeling that you know they'll they'll survive, they could even be outside. 